at Providence Hall, I just feel like they didn't miss a beat. He, we applied, he got in, and immediately things started falling into place. Um, people are contacting us. All these services were getting set up for him. Who do you work with there at school? Miranda. <laughs> so Miranda and Jenny. Uh, Jenny, of course. Of course. <laughs> I am just so proud of Brock. Um, Brock came to USDB over the summer. We found out about him at the end of the school year last year in spring. He was um, definitely kind of sad and, and nervous about starting over. It's really tricky to get everything prepared and up and going. For a student who is a braille reader, you have to come together as a team and make sure that they have the accommodations and modifications that they need. His mom has gone above and beyond. She brought him in on a Friday. Providence Hall is no longer open on Fridays for students. It's just Monday through Thursday. But she was willing to bring him in on a Friday because I had missed him for a week or whatever and wanted to make sure that he was good to go and up on everything. He's starting to be a much better advocate for himself. So I feel like he's feeling more and more comfortable because he's actually talking up, you know, speaking out and um, offering things in his classes and stuff. So that's, that's so exciting to see. Uh, right now we're working with reading fluency. Part of it is Brock is so, um, meticulous that he wants to get everything correct and when you read books like Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief or you read books like Harry Potter there are a lot of novel words that come up. So you're reading Harry Potter in Braille? Yeah. That sounds a bit challenging. <laughs> it's the Goblet of Fire. This is, um, I'm trying to think how to put this. This is just what I would hope for him as far as his education and what he's, um, how he's being supported with his visual impairment. Um, I, I, yeah, right now I just couldn't be happier.